See, whenever you are creating a data page, you have three different scopes thread, requester, node. Thread requester, anything if I choose, if I go to load management, it is not going to ask for any uh, information like access group. You know about access group already. And you go to node, node type of data page, node scope of data page, it is going to mandatorily asking for the access group. You already know about access group. What is an access group? An access group acts as an interface between an operator and the respect to application portal and access roles that the operator can access. Then if you're creating node level database, why PRPC is asking about an access group? When you specify some access group here, what happens? Okay, now at runtime. Now, first we need to know about the basic information about a data page. Database concept is like, it is a cached page on server's clipboard. Especially node level data page. Node level data page will be there created on server level. Only first requester who is going to request for the data page. Data page gets freshly loaded by executing everything. And second, third, fourth, and n number of requesters who are requesting for the data page, data page will get shared. Understand? This is the concept, right? Now, node level data page is looking for access group. The fundamentals of the database should never be disturbed whenever you implement something. And now I have given an access group of ABC. Just imagine. Okay, I have two different operators. Operator one access group is ABC. And operator two access group is. Let's say XYZ. ABC XYZ. Access group is going to point to some application, right? ABC points to ABC application. XYZ points to XYZ application. In ABC application, I have an activity, activity one, which is browsing the data from table one. In XYZ application, I have an I, I have uh, an application XYZ. In that, I have an activity, activity one only. Same name. That is browsing from table two. Understand? Everyone able to imagine, let me repeat again. There are two operators. Operator one access group is ABC. Operator two access group is XYZ. Anytime when operator one, okay. ABC application has an activity by name, activity one. XYZ application has an activity by name, activity one, same name, matching. Okay. Now operator one login and uh, in a flow, imagine in a flow, I have a utility shape. Just imagine in the utility shape, I call activity one. Operator one logged in and executed flow. Activity one is there, right? Activity one is there in two places. ABC application, XYZ application. From which application this operator will get that activity executed? ABC, right? ABC application is going to get table one data will be browsed. Now XYZ operator has logged in. Operator two. XYZ application. He executed his flow. In his flow, the same activity one is called. So from where activity one will get executed? XYZ application. Operator two will get which data? Table two data. Table two data will be given to operator two. Table one data will be given to operator one. Everyone of you able to imagine and understand online resources. It is not so simple to explain this option as everyone is thinking like the access group what is given here only the matching access group operators data page will be shared remaining will not be shared that is thousand percent false okay in interview also interviewers are expecting the same because they are also learning from the same sources that is thousand percent wrong interpretation of understanding database access group. listen to me carefully to explain this i am giving you a scenario so what are the fundamentals plus what are the fundamentals of pega database fundamental is whenever a database is being executed at node level database will be created for the first operator at the node level shared for remaining operators on the same node same server okay now fundamentals of operator whenever an operator login and execute any rule that is going to be picked from his access group related application related rule sets related rule right this is the fundamental 
these two fundamentals should not get disturbed when you implement anything else now let's imagine about the situation of data page with access to now operator one operator two same operator one access group is abc same structure is same operator two access group xyz both of them have activity one in the data page i'm explaining you with activity because you can easily understand i have an activity called activity one what is that activity one operator one has logged in to prpc as part of his execution process this data page is requested he requested for this data page for the first he is the first one data page will run on which access group for him abc access group which means that it is going to point to go to abc application this activity one that is being called will be executed from which application abc application and then executed and he got some data right now data is there on the clipboard at node level data page which is from table one okay clear operator two logged in for his access group is what xyz xyz application some rule sets and activity same he also has in that application also operator two login as part of operator two execution process he requested for this data page data page will be same node both of them logged into same node operator one completed operator two immediately logged in and requesting data page is still there for operator two first question is data page which is already there will be actually fundamentals of data page should be shared or should be created should be shared, shared. shared. Yes. the data page that is already there on the clipboard is getting shared to operator two that is the fundamental mechanism of the data page but the point here is for a, if it is a fact about the fundamentals of operator data page should run on which access group the respect to operator's access group abc operator logged in abc access group it executed for the first time okay no problem xyz access group operator logged in for him data page should execute actually on which access group xyz but the data page which is already there has been loaded on abc access group considering the fundamentals of access group it is violating you are sharing some other access group data to this operator who is xyz that is violating the fundamentals of operator access group concept rule execution concept so this is wrong so here database sharing mechanism is true correct it should be shared but this sharing if you are implementing at node level fundamentals of access group is failing operator access group fundamentals are failing then how to sort out this issue no hold on for that reason pega has come up with an option under load management tab and access group okay my access group now is uvw what is my access group uvw, UVW. data page concept is it should be shared when it is at node level it should run on operator access group only fundamentals of operator access group concept now look at here previously we encountered a problem right which is violating prpc fundamentals now abc operator operator one with an access group abc is requesting for this node level database for the first time what is the access group on, on which the database should run actually abc only right? operator access group. that should not be violated again remember the moment this data page is requested process commander will look at the access group that is there in the load management tab uvw right at a specific moment of time within seconds time the operator's access group abc primary access group will be overridden with the access group that is mentioned on the data page the moment execution of this data page begins operator access group this data page access group same but actually what was the access group of operator abc that has been overridden internal logic now data page is running on operator access group or not that fundamental is there data by will get loaded on the access group mentioned here that is also operator access group in this access group related application related activity will get executed data is been retrieved okay it will not retrieve from operator access group application activity from this access group related application related rule sets related activity will run and gets executed and data is posted on the clipboard first operator completed 
another operator has come operator 2 for operator 2 the axis group is xyz application xyz in the activity one is there but second operator when he comes what is the design of data pages for node level access group that is at the moment data page is requested operators access group will be overridden with the access group that is mentioned here on the data page second operator comes and requests for the data page the moment he requests the access group what is there on the data page is going to override operator's access group now operator access group is same as database access group right now process commander find out data page is already there on clipboard or not it is there it is sharing is it the sharing the is it is it sharing the right one or not as per the access group concept operator access group is also now uvw right at that moment already uvw access group loaded database is there it is going to get copied he will get the same activity getting executed from uvw application and get the data execution completed copying completed override it will be put back into original access group no problem but it is a milliseconds of time this overriding will happen understand completed third operator has come third operator access group is like abc123 for him abc123 application activity is there accordingly rule sets and all third operator comes and requests for this data page and now process commander will take the access group of the data page and override third operator's access group to same and copy the database so database sharing mechanism is fundamental are satisfied the rule should run on operators access group is also satisfied by this implementation mechanism understand this is the purpose of access group on the database everyone clear make sense so does it mean let now the question is if operator access group and database access group both are not matching database will not be getting shared is that true or false that is false if you look at the high level that is false internal mechanism is doing this match it is update overriding access group that is there in database to operator so that's how it is matching but actually outline if you say that just i'm i'm asking question now everything clear right so far operator one has logged in the access group on the database first operator only first operator is access group a b c database access group is uvw he requested for the database database should execute or not actually it should execute it's not matching what is the statement you have given when access group is not matching it won't give that is satisfied your database itself should not run not running is is it correct that is wrong it should run when data access group is different how it will run it will override the access group of the database to the operator only during that moment and execute on that particular access group. okay so that is the concept of access group it is a wrong interpretation that when access group is not matching database will not be shared is wrong interpretation if if five operators are there two operators matching with access group remaining three not matching if database is not getting shared for remaining three sharing mechanism fundamentals are violated then pega is failing in that concept so that interpretation is wrong okay clear makes sense everyone clear those who are already working on pega you should understand this concept 